After last week's bridge collapse in Pittsburgh, PennDOT is answering questions surrounding the bridge inspection process. Brian Munoz reports. This bridge behind me is one of many across Lancaster County that is either in need of repair or structurally deficient. PennDOT says not to worry. Just because they say poor doesn't mean that there's there's something significantly wrong with that bridge that's that's putting them in jeopardy. Pennsylvania has the second most bridges rated poor out of any state in the country. Nearly 500 bridges in the mid state are in that category. PennDOT says it's been prioritizing the most urgent work. We're looking at what's the traffic that's on that's using that route. Again, what's the condition of the bridge? Um, a lot of different factors go into what's going to make that a regional priority. Is it is it used by emergency uh, management personnel? Is it on a route to a hospital? While $1.6 billion from the federal government will help address some problem spots, it's not enough for all of them. This bridge near Columbia River Park is one that will need repairs in the near future. And a lot of these bridges have outlived their intended longevity. The general design life that was considered for much of these bridges was was 50 years and we find as it's aging you know we can generally get more life the average life of we get of a bridge is around 75 years and if you would like to see a map of the bridges affected in your area we have a link on our website abc27.com in columbia brian munoz abc27 news